I do make a point of starting and stopping episodes on those do to be continued every mm-hmm. single time. So <laughs> welcome back, I guess. I, I actually can't see the time on there, so I don't know how how far far we are in recording. But I do think that we bullshitted. Oh wait. It's oh, this time. room. It's been too long. It hasn't changed the slightest though. It's been some six months, hasn't it? That's a long time to stay so familiar. Uh, closer to. T- Ten at this point. By the way, I do want to point this out because this is hilarious. We actually started this series in th- this game, not the not the not the not, the, not not both series. We started this game in July of last year. So, yeah. I didn't know when you might return, and I wanted everything to be as you left it. But it has been some six months. It's true. So is your father all right, Rip Susie? What happened? My father? Uh, Iris's voice is such a pain in the ass, too, because she talks so much, but I have no idea how to make it more natural sounding, so I just fucking make her a cartoon character. That. I just said how I, I voice. Uh, I try to be better about making female characters sound more natural. Fuck Iris. She she can. Iris is a cartoon she, character. She can be a child, yeah. Iris is a child. She was sweet and she was delicate. Yeah, Professor Mikitova. I mean, it was half a year ago, but that's why you went back to Japan. Because of the telegram you see, received saying he'd fallen ill with a very high fever for some unknown reason. Sure is inconvenient that a boat ride is like two months, so that was like. So, like, just, you were just on a boat for two-thirds of that time apart we've spent. That's mm-hmm. crazy. That's right! So, I was surprised to learn you'd be coming back so soon. Surprised but happy! I would love to have known that. No, I've been surprised as well. Before. <laughs> <laughs> How does mail work in this world? Because, like, obviously mail existed back here then, but, like, how would mail... I think they had get... telegrams. Oh, telegrams, sure, but yeah, like, I meant, like, she sent a postcard, which, uh, had arrived before her, which, I mean, mail's always been kind of fast on purpose, but I don't know. Could have been a smaller vessel that would have just only had the crew and... Yeah. I don't know. Let's, let's try to get our best to get through this scene, because I just want to get through this. I think I wrote wrote about it in my letter to you. That was all a trick. My father's in fine health. I'm obviously very relieved about that. Yeah, that would have been nice to know about. It's almost like you shouldn't hide other people's mail. Right, Iris? It's almost like that's almost that's kind of a felony. I mean, looking at somebody's other mail is a felony, but well, she hiding it. it. She read it too. Oh, did she? Did she did read it? All right, yeah, lock her up. Chino. Lock her up. She she's a felon now. It was quite by accident that I had been able to return to Europe. Actually, it was because of a very grand conference called the International Forensic Science. Otherwise, sent me. symposium. Symposium. Thank you. Otherwise known as the IFS. IFS. <laughs> the IFS. It's the same symposium Lord Strongheart mentioned. I don't remember that at all. Anyway, I arrived safe and sound, and all that matters is I'm here now. After all, I haven't yet fulfilled my promise to you, Iris. Oh! Oh yeah, it's probably better that we start early because they're, they, 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 they've been doing fireworks all day, somewhere in our neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Well, I know our next door neighbors were doing fireworks all last night. Oh, yeah. The big pile. The ones uh, on the uh, other side of our backyard, those ones, it feels like they were doing it until like two. I woke up at three with my migraine. I woke up. Like 3.45. I woke up at four in the morning and it was silent, so at least stop by then. Mm -hmm. You must tell us everything that happened while you were back in Japan. Well. No. Yes, of course. Michelle, did you know that there was another feudal war going on? Again? <laughs> There's one other thing. Something you wrote in your letter that particularly grabbed my attention. That's actually something I find really interesting is about how uh, history affects... Uh, uh, is it culture or pop culture? One or the other. Both. But like, yeah. But like Japan... Uh, 
there's this running trope that I only see in Japanese media, and it's like I, I can't remember how how I described it, um, but it has to do with the fact that they have the the warring states and such. Um, I don't know. It, it's such a it's a, such a niche thing, and I, I have it on the tip of my tongue. If I remember it, I'll. I'll but but it's like that's that's something that only appears in Japanese pop culture, and I'm just like, oh, that's because they had this warring states period, and they only they they experienced this event, and so that'd be very at the forefront of their minds. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm something in your letter that particularly grabbed my attention about you know who. I know. I'll tell you all I can. The one thing I'm looking forward to... I'm just gonna skip through this. I just wanted to see if there was anything interesting. Honestly, one of the most underrated parts of this game is how is the fucking dialogue between during investigation segments on things that don't matter. <laughs> but it's so plentiful that I don't want it voiced because it's going to take twice as long. Mm -hmm. Still haven't filled in the other eye. I honestly kind of want to get one of those. I do very well. I have one eye. Yeah, uh, yeah. But what, what was our goal? What was the goal that we set for ourselves? Aren't those? Do, do you like break them open when you when you're done, or you just fill in the eye and just have that there? Or am I? I think, think when. I think I'm mixing that up with something else. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into it. I, I give that to myself as a birthday present. Oh yeah, yeah you're still here. Anyway. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this crop up. Oh god. You're still taking good care uh, yeah, You're still taking good care of the armband. I'm so pleased. I'm actually really looking forward to doing the uh, Apollo Justice trilogy with Scott because they cut down on the investigation segments hard. Like they're still around, but they're significantly shorter than they were games and they're always my least favorite part to play it through. Well yes, it feels like I wouldn't be me without it now, to be honest. Oh dear. There seems to be a threat coming loose just there. Look. I'd be only too happy to mend it for you, Mr. Lord. That's an interesting face. That's that's a face of I must have scraped it against something again. I'm always doing that. <laughs> Got the ADHD fucking bump into walls. You take better care of it, please. It was all going so well until I ruined it. I. They are flirting. Yeah, I mm -hmm. honestly, I. This this is the only thing that I I I, I, I the, the coin has so many different sides to it, but like that's what I'm gonna miss the most going away from this game is because Susato is by far the best and most interesting uh, judicial assistant. Going back to, well, I'm not gonna spoil who in the, in the Apollo Justice series, but going back to bland, personalityless uh, side characters just talking about fucking nothing. No no one's bad, as bad as Maya, in my opinion, but g going back to that after having Susato is just Literally, and I asked, I, I talked to Scott about this as well. You know what? The Nick? best, the best Maya cases are the ones where she's not in them. Literally, the cases where she gets kidnapped in both games two and three are Nick? the best, are the best <laughs> Maya cases. And I'm kind of glad that Maya's not around in the in the sequel trilogy because of that. 
Well, I mean, they killed off the good one, like it's... in the first, uh... Mia? No, uh... Her sister. Mia. That was Mia? Mia and Maya, yeah. Oh. Mia, yeah. Mia, Mia's fine, but she's she's definitely more of a mentor figure to Phoenix uh -huh. than a judicial assistant. She has her role, and I think she's very good for when she shows up, but... Maya, Maya just has no personality, and they do not develop her at all for three games, and I... That's I, sad. I know. Because they develop everyone else. Yeah, more or less. I don't think Phoenix is that well-developed either, but at least he has a character by the end of the trilogy. You're quite accomplished with a longbow? Actually, I don't find that all that surprising, considering they're still in, uh... What is it called? What are we... we what is it called? Feudal era Japan? Meiji era? Whatever. Does the apple necessarily have to be on my head? Yes! Hey, you wanna screw? Do you see this?! I don't want to screw you. I mean, uh... <laughs> Did you show her the newspaper? If I need to show her shit... Yeah, that's the other thing, too, is that they're a lot more straightforward about who needs to be shown what. In the, in the original trilogy, it's bad. Like, you can fucking have... You, there's so many moments where you can have, like, a fucking 20 items in your inventory and you have to present them to one person. They, they cut down on that hard starting in the fourth game where they do not give you as many pieces of evidence. For some reason, that didn't happen in the uh, Miles Edgeworth games, and those ones are fucking a pain in the ass to play through because they uh, have all the problems of both the Apollo Justice trilogy and the, the original trilogy. <laughs> When I first tried back in Japan, I really thought I'd never be allowed to return to Britain. But curiously, after that awful trial in the Supreme Court, Father's mood changed entirely. An awful trial? Oh yes. For the murder of Giselle Brett. Ooh! You dressed as a man then, didn't you, Susie? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, huh? Yes. Yeah. Since women are forbidden in the courtroom, I have no choice. Wow, amazing. I wish I'd seen it, don't you, Bruno? That's... Fetish unlocked? I suppose so. Fetish unlocked. Fetish unlocked. I feel very much like a... Oh, God, what's his name from Mulan? Shang. Shang. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should have been general. What was he Wait, studying no! before he was forced to be a lawyer? He was trying to be a lawyer. He went to lawyer school with with Kazuma, and he was still in practice. Kazuma was the had had already, already graduated, I guess you could say. I thought he was trying to study something else. No. Like he went to a law school. Yeah, I know, but I thought he was doing something else as well. It's it's been a, it's been a while. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure he was just aiming to be a lawyer. He just was. I, it was less that he. Uh, he didn't think he was ready. He 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 didn't want to fill Cosmo's shoes, um, especially because that first case was his own murder trial. So he's like, "Are you sure? I want to play at being a lawyer now. I could wear a false mustache, maybe. Surely that will disguise." Me. I don't think any mustache could hide the fact that you're just ten years old, Iris. There's something else I've been wanting to ask you, Mr. Sato. It's about the real reason why Professor Mikotoba summoned you back to Japan. You said in your letter that it was something to do with that convict's loot we found in Mr. Natsume's belongings. I vaguely remember something like that. That's right. That very large collar dog. Right! Oh my the god. The large dog collar we found with the B emblem on it. The B for bitch. Seems Mr. Natsume included a drawing of the collar in a report he submitted about his time in Britain. I understand that when Father saw the report, he turned as white as a sheep. Why would that be bad? Father 
Bernard came to Britain himself, of course. <gasps> the B study. stands for Britain. <laughs> that was some time ago. But he stayed for six years. He's trying to put a leash on all of the England. <laughs> I can only imagine that something must have happened during that time. Okay, so you got England and Britain. Is Brit Britain is what is now the United Kingdom, right? Mm-hmm. England is the whole island, mm -hmm. and United Kingdom is, you know, UK, Scotland, Britain. Wait, fuck, I don't know. Uh, difference between. Both gonna fucking kill you if you get a chance. Uh, UK, England. And Great Britain. This is very important. Hello? Hmm? It's not going. United Kingdom is a sovereign nation made up of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Great Britain is an island off of North of Europe's northern coast, northwestern coast. England is a part of the United Kingdom. Uh, so I guess England's the only one I have questions about because I, I, I so, so. Oh, they lived in the Maisonier. Maisonier. Yeah, because they're just about they're, they're in the transition. That's mm -hmm. the. Um. So Great Britain is Oh, okay. So so Ireland, yeah, I forget. I, I forgot that Ireland was its own country. Uh This is such so confusing. So Britain is the island. England is oh, the nation. Yeah, he was an English language student that then changed to law at some point. I think that's where I was going with it. Yeah. I think that's what I was getting tripped over. I'm sorry. Okay, we're, we're both on the wrong subject right now. Let's get back <laughs> to the game. Uh, I can only imagine that something must have happened to me that time. But if he refuses to tell me what it is, I tend to find the answers for myself. And I decided that I, for once, won't be keeping any more secrets. For once? Oh, no, Susie! I'm, I'm actually a boy. Went from a nine to a ten. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a very unfortunate rea uh, 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 reaction to Kazuma's death. And he was hiding in his closet. Sleeping in his closet, I, I guess you could say. And was forced out. Hmm. It's a very meaningful look Susato san has been giving Iris there. God, it's just We're gonna tell you that your father is dead. Lord Strongheart mentioned something about that symposium, too. I think he said that investigative authorities from 40 different countries would attend. I know yes. what you did. And from Japan, my father and judge, whatever, will be invited. That's like the easiest Japanese name ever. Jikoku. 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 It's something of an honor. I owe you. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sure you're just used to it. Yeah. It's something of an honor, I believe. Well, Professor Mikotoba is the leading expert in forensic medicine in our country, after all. But who's the other person you mentioned? A judge, did you say? Yes. His Excellency, Judge... Seishiro? Seishiro Jukuhuo. You've met him, Mr. Naruto. Last year, in the Supreme Court. You can't possibly have forgotten. I like that guy's beard. Oh, yeah! That guy doesn't have a beard. How did that terrible trial of yours when you were accused of murder? Ha 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 ha. How could I forget it? I try... I try to think of that as a positive turning point in my life in these days. Oh yeah, he did have a cool beard. Well, it was Judge Ko who presided over that trial. 
if I'm perfectly honest, I'd be happy never to see that man's face again my, in my life. Oh, well anyway, this when I was invited to the symposium, he agreed to be returning to Britain too. We weren't actually arrive until next month, but, well, I couldn't wait. So I pleaded with him, and he ended agreeing to me to go on ahead. I also noticed something that I, I remember doing uh, uh, way at the beginning of the channel is that it's, you can talk normally, but all of a sudden when you're reading something, you have the, the, the tendency to go fast and, and like mm -hmm. mumble through words. And you know, you already know that you do that through D&D. &D. So I think that just, you need to uh, like either slow, like really process what you're saying, you know, like not slow down necessarily, but like instead of reading the words, uh, it's hard to explain without just practice. Mm -hmm. Yes, about the symposium. It seems as though Lord Strongheart has put me. I'm doing it right now, too. <laughs> it seems as though Lo Lord Strongheart has put in an awful lot of work to make it happen. It's obviously very important. I believe it is, yes. As I understand it, Lord, Strong Lord Strongheart organized the entire event himself. I think. He's hoping that by achieving an exploit... Exceptional. Except... Sorry, my glasses got Yeah, <laughs> you're alright. Exceptional results he'll get the job of Attorney General. <laughs> the most senior position in the British just justice system. He's the king of the justice system. He's hoping to use his power to create the world's finest policing institution. Oh, fuck. Police state Britain. That's what Father said anyway. Apparently it's Lord Strongheart's lifetime, lifelong and I no, I no longer trust him. He's got to be the big bad. Does Professor Mikutoba know Lord Strongheart personally then, I wonder? Actually, Lord Strongheart gave me a long speech of all about this very subject only yesterday. It feels like ten months ago, but it apparently was only yesterday. But I sort of lost the will to live early on and didn't really listen to much of it. How trying for you. She sounds so sarcastic. No, that's just me. Oh, anyway, you said Giselle Brett died? The woman whose unforgivable actions ended in me being wrongly accused of a crime I didn't commit. The murder of Dr. John H. Wilson. Iris's poppy. Yes, Giselle Brett. That's a name I won't forget for as long as I live. The extraordinary thing is, though, it seems it's a name we should all forget. Huh? Since the incident, our government's intelligence services have been investigating Miss Brett. But it turns out that an English woman by that name of Giselle Brett didn't actually exist. <gasps> didn't exist, but how could that be? She was standing right. Well, I mean, she didn't know that she she was standing sort of in front of me at one point. She had a bird on her head. It's a pseudonym. Her real name was Shin. She, and she wasn't visiting the student either. That was a front. A front? Who, who on earth was she then? Miss Aishin. Her name is literally all our intelligence services have been able to assert about her. Is it mission? Ascertain. Miss Aishin. Mission? Mission. Nobody knows why or even how she came to be in Japan. Well, Shin sounds very ja I mean. Mm -hmm. Vaguely Japanese, I guess I should say. It's not really spelled how I would think that it would be, but it, it sounds like she could have been native. Mm -hmm. Or had at least a native parent. But, but that makes no sense. It's no easy task to be accepted as a foreign student anywhere. What could the woman have been up to? I'm afraid I really don't know. The only thing we can be sure of... Is that she had some business in our country that we don't have yet understand. And now she's been killed. While all the questions surrounding her existence remain unanswered. Nara, Mr. Naruto, we are in Britain. We can find a necromancer. They have witches. I'm afraid no. so. No. <laughs> oh wait, that's right, they were all killed. Who on earth was a Shin? Why do I feel as though I've heard that name before somewhere? I don't. Yeah, it's also been ten months. 
I, I'm fairly certain I've never uh, heard that name in the game before, but eh, After yeah, you're right. After my trial, the reporter who actually killed this brat said something very strange. Yeah, Kim, I'm glad we're going back to this, because... Mm -hmm. Minimimo! He has an Italian accent too! I know the truth! I know you had a hand in what went on! He met a visiting student's fate! Nobody here in Japan know anything about it! They don't know that the guy never made it to England! That he died on the steamship! And that he'll never... And that was when he was killed in action. Obviously, I couldn't ask him to elaborate at the time. The waiter who visit the man in the prison cell and ask him what he was going to say about Kazuzu's sin. What did you learn? That he died in prison. Kazuma? No, 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 san After he died on the voyage to Great Britain, his body should have been unlimited at the port of Hong Kong in the house to the care of the consul itself, the consulate staff there. Should have been? Well, it turns out. His body never arrived. It's just disappeared. What? Cosmo's body vanished? Now he works for Lord. Oh, uh, what's his face? It's that damn ghost murderer again. No, he this works time for he's... The, the vampire. Van Zeeks? Van Zeeks, yes. Because I still remember that there was that one scene we had where he was at his house. And he had a guy that was in, like, a hood. Wearing a hood. I would... I wouldn't worry about that. Um... Our government tried to cover up the fact, it seems. They erected a grave on the cliffside by our hometown. Except... Kazuma Sam isn't... Kazuma Sam... Sama. Isn't there. He's just going out for milk. He'll be back. <laughs> right? Did Professor Mikotoba know about this? Yes. It would seem he did. But he didn't tell me. They're still investigating what happened to Professor Sam's body as we speak. I, I just don't believe it. Now, what is this acute feeling of apprehension I have all of a sudden? Cosmos. Oh, thank God. Anything to distract me from this stupid balloon case. Thinking back now, some of the things that happened on the SS Puria were definitely strange. There was like a snake, I think. I mean, after he died, we never saw his body again, did we? Could it be? Could it be? Could it be that he's actually a ghost? No, stop! stop. It, Ms. That's too much to bear. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Just thinking about the possibility pains me so very much. We were lovers, you know? <laughs> you too? I mean, what? What? <laughs> Cast your mind back for a moment, Mr. Harlan. I'd rather not. <laughs> Just still you. When Cosmos was discovered, Mr. Sholmes was there, wasn't he? <laughs> and he definitely examined the body. I remembered it clearly. You're, you're right. If he thinks that Kazuma was dead, then Sorry. he has to be wrong. As <laughs> if Kazuma hadn't actually been dead at all, it would mean that Mr. Sholmes had lied to us. Well, he's stupid. <laughs> that no too. I possibly have done such a thing. He could just be stupid. I suppose that's true, though. The idea that he might still be alive somewhere. I'm, I'm more concerned at the moment the fact that Sholmes might be lying to us and we're sta we're we're in his fucking attic. I'm aware of the fact that this isn't the first time he's lied. Also, Iris, uh, close your ears. You're not supposed to be hearing all this. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. It wants to fill me with hope, but I can't let it because if it turns out not to be true, I'd be fit. I'd fall into despair. I just fucking fucking Monokuma shows up. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> And I'll be back to the bottom of that awful <gasps> despair again. Okay, I know this editing, a... editing Nick's idea in the corner of where I, the I'm thing gonna, is. I'm not going to be uh, able to do it. 
I mean, I can do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> no, just like do like a flash <laughs> of Monokuma. Just like boop. I know it's a very common theme in Japan, hope versus despair, and Danganronpa really beats your head over it. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, no, it's, the, the, those two clashing ideals are its a very common trope in Japan. I know, but, you know, Monokuma is just so Monokuma. I know. I'm, I'm terrified what that might do to me. Oh, Miss Sosato, don't worry. People die when they are killed. I know she's given the idea the thought it deserves. It's Susato-san we're talking about, after all. So I probably shouldn't push it now. And then he pops out and goes, Ah, oh, I'm alive! Anyway, back to what we were doing before. Uh, it almost didn't let me. <laughs> Must be about Yannick out now. I wrote a really long story based on some of my father's own notes. It's about one of Hurley's greatest exploits. I call it the Hand of the Baskervilles. What the B stands for. But then Mr. Sholmes forbade you from publishing it and put the manuscript somewhere nobody could get their hands on it. So nobody knows anything about it apart from Hurley and I. But for some reason, you knew the title of it, didn't you, Susie? Yeah, I definitely think oh, this. It sounds so exciting. The Hound of the Bell. So no, I love to read it. Yeah, I think that this game works better as a, like a one long story, but you really should just be able to skip the. Uh, saying it's filler is kind of wrong. I think that you need to like condense some parts. Like mm -hmm. I think I think that case two from this game should definitely have been in the first game, and I think two shouldn't have. Case two from the first game shouldn't have been a case, you know, because so much. I don't of, even think it's gave just anything over the overarching story. Yeah, it's really just Kazuma it. dying. Like he, like obviously you gotta have your intro cases for both games, and this game's intro case having the, the death of Giselle Brett feels like it's gonna be important again later. So I, I think that's the biggest thing I would change is I just would edit around games one story a little bit better. And leave the, the How to the Baskervilles mystery with Susato. Be, be that your tie-in to the second game. We also really shouldn't have gone ten months between. Because we already waited. A, I, I can't remember how long we waited. It was like three or four months between the end of the first game and starting the second game. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah. Um... Tell me how come you'd know how you'd come to know it. Yes, but I made you a promise that I'll explain one day, didn't I? I think it's time. Huh? Oh! Iris, I'm from the future. What? <laughs> oh, it was. It was probably half a year because we we the last episode of Great Ace Attorney One came out in November of twenty twenty one. This the first episode of the second game came out in July of last year. So yeah, it, it was seven months. Oh. No, we're already here at side by side. Please. I'm, only, I'm only sorry I had to keep it from you for so long, Iris. What do you know about my day? It was completely by accident that I came to know the title of your manuscript, Iris. I was looking for, for <laughs> Ryunosuke's porn stash and I stumbled upon it. It was a short while before we left Japan. I was cleaning Father's study and I saw something on his writing desk. A large box of papers. There was a label all affixated to the box that was written in English. It read, The Hound of the ba Ambassador Bells. What? this story I'm losing it and I don't care <laughs> I had no idea what it was at the time the father came in and Susano what are you doing it's me oh 
father. Also, the, the people in this game are very plain, so I don't feel like doing ex like two different voices of, for them, like I did with the original Ace Attorney trilogy. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of hard to, to differentiate some characters who are just, this is just gruff older man. And there's so many gruff older men in this game, especially with the jurors. That's probably the worst part. Voicing mm -hmm. all the jurors is such a pain in the ass because they're usually five characters that do not have any importance other than the single case that they're in. It's five additional voices I have to make up for that kind of shit, and I'm just like, well, whatever. Did you look at those papers? No, I simply read the label, that's all. How dare you read the next great Sherlock Holmes novel? I mean, well, put it out of your mind. Sorry? Forget that you ever saw it, and certainly don't tell anybody else about this. Do you understand? Fuck you. <laughs> And that's why I'm telling this now. <laughs> but what was Iris's manuscript doing in Japan? I have no idea. But when I heard Iris mention the word Baskerville that day, the title just slipped out. I would never have guessed that it was an unpublished account of one of Mr. Sh Mr. Shom's exploits. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with Professor Mikotoba and I... I hate that it was the the crumbs of that were sprinkled from the very first case of the first game, and we're waiting. We we've waited so long to get the conclusion from that. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something shady with the father. I feel like there's something shady with uh, Strongheart. Strongheart. Yeah, Strongheart was very obvious. He, and he... I feel like Sholmes knows something. Oh, absolutely. Definitely knows of some things and yeah. is not telling. You want my prediction for the last case of this game? I think Sholmes will be the defendant in the last case. Hmm. Because that's usually what happens. It's like, I have secrets, and now is probably the most important part of time for me to tell you them, but I'm gonna shut up because such and such honor. So when I returned to Japan, I asked Father to explain. But he refused to answer any of my questions. And there was no sign of the box in his office. <laughs> Thoughts! That's really all I know about it. I have no doubt that Father has very good reason for being so secret about it, but still. I made up my mind to explain what the sound told me. Thanks, I guess. I'm so Thoughts of Father's dead. Well, thank you for being so honest, Susie! I wish I could have- I wish I could see my father, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Naruto, I'm ready to start investigating if you are. What? We don't do that here. I've committed every detail about this case to memory. Good. Iris has told me about the disturbing happenings at the Waxwork Museum as well. Oh, can you refresh my memory? Because it's been, you know, ten months. So you're fully abreast of the, I mean, uh, a boob of the situation already, Mr. Sato. I expected nothing less, to be honest. No, I'm a bee. <laughs> That's what the B stands for. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I would think our first port to call should be the investigating, investigating this Mr. Drucker. The engineer responsible for building the elaborate machine that was used to affect this extraordinary trick. I think that that's the wrong effect. I think it should be with an A. But I, I don't know the difference well enough to be, be a, a judge of that. A conjurer of sorts by the effect sound of it. Effect is for time. Effect, e a effect is with uh, making, I believe. Because if you want to make I think it should be a fact then. It's, there's, the, the difference is so minute, but very mm -hmm. crucial, that it's, it's hard to judge whether or not. Uh... Then we need to go and arrest him. Why? Well, yes. He must know the truth behind this case, so I really, really do need to find the man. Flip! Hmm. It sounds like it's a case of tracking someone down. Luckily, I have... 
Uh, <laughs> which is a job for the police or a great detective. Am I supposed to guess who she might be thinking of? Lutex is always me. It's Ryunosuke. I know. We don't I just have, wanted to read that. We don't have much time, so get the get the charade uh, underway, Iris. Okay. Best of luck, then. She just jumps out the window. Wh what? I'm going to Brixton Road shortly for the herb market. Oh, sorry. In British, it's herb but market. <laughs> that's literally, that's literally when you, <laughs> the, di the difference. Let me know later when you, how you go on, won't you? We got shot. Thank goodness I have an herb for that. Another herb. And uh, herb, it's so hard. I don't want like it. I don't want. That was a little abrupt. The pull of the herb market. It just sounds wrong. I don't think there's anything there. Oh wait, unless Iris was standing in front of something. Oh yeah, we had an aquarium or something. Lobsters as pets. Yes. I thought about going red lobster and reaching their tank and taking one home when I was a kid. I think that they, uh, like, don't they, like, actually, I don't think they do it anymore, but I think they used to, like, break the claws so that they wouldn't be able to survive. Now they just rubber band them. Yeah, they definitely. I, I had to think about that, but I was like, as long as I can remember, they've been rubber banded. I feel like. 